Hello. Hello, it's me. Hi, it's Grace. I'm filming a very impromptu what's in my I am filming a very impromptu my favorite bullet journal accessories. So that's exciting. You can see I'm wearing a very cute sweatshirt. Thank you very much. Um yeah, uh, my friend and my best friend got it for me, so we have like somewhat matching. Hers is the lighter tan one, so we have matching sweaters or sweatshirts or hoodies. Hoodies, that's the word. I haven't owned a hoodie since like freshman year, and it was like one of those old lifeguard ones. This is very exciting for me, I'm so, and it's so cozy, and I feel like I'm part of the vlog squad. I'm not. David. Vlog squad? Me? Oh, please? Um, okay. Back on track. Thank you, Abby, for the sweatshirt. It's, it's so cute. So, I keep saying so. Hmm. I shall start off with, oh, and by the way, I'm wearing these because I've been staring at screens all day. I should take them off. Oh, here I am. Hi, my bangs are too long. Thank you for noticing. Thank you. Uh, okay. So, this is my bullet journal. You've seen it in my mini plan with me if you watch my videos, and if not, this is your first time. It's very exciting. It's a pretty yellowy orange mustard color. I'm obsessed with this. It matches so many of my things. So, it's made by Minimalism Art. Don't know if you can see that. It is by far the fave, the fave of my bullet journals that I've used in the past, like brands. I've tried the Michaels. I've tried, I think when I found it, uh, what's that company called? Barnes and Noble. This is my favorite. I ordered it off of Amazon. It's a company that makes it in San Francisco. It has a cute little pocket if you want to stick things in the back like, I don't know, an ID or if you carry this with you everywhere. And I stuck a sticker on it because it matched it perfectly and I got it for my birthday when I was 18 and I am now 20. So I'm like, I should use that sticker. This last me all school year. I, it's May. I got this in September, I think. Let me see when I started it. Yeah, September. I started this one in September. It is amazing and it's such a fun color and I'm almost done with it. I have probably enough room for one month left, maybe. And I have to get a new one, which my wallet's not looking forward to. It's not like super expensive. I'm just broke, college. Uh, but I love this. I hit myself in the face. I love this. It's so good. But almost kind of like, it's a different tone, but like, I have a theme. Oh, even the picture in the back. Cool. Yeah. That's my bullet journal. So that's number one accessory because it's how I build a journal. My next thing. I love stickers. I love all stickers in all formats and all types. I love stickers. I feel like they make, can make your spread look so cool or just a little more professional. I'm an art student, but I do not make the best. I'm a photographer. I try drawing. I like drawing. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm amazing at drawing. <laughs> so stickers are great. They also help you create and stick to a theme because you can look at the colors on the stickers and be like, oh, I'm gonna use those colors. But there's so many and they're all so fun. And I love quotes, so you can stick an expiring quote instead of trying to write it all fancy and cursive and messing up a word by forgetting a T or something. Stickers. These are by the Happy Planner. I love the Happy Planner stickers. I've noticed lots of my stickers are by the Happy Planner. So you can see, it's just a little... I bought this on sale at Michael's last summer, and I still have a ton of stickers to use. 
always check out Michael's sales on planners right at the end of the school year or right after the school year begins because they put stuff on sale. 10 out of 10 recommend. Washi tape. Washi tape. This is just some of my washi tape. Once again, I bought a ton of washi tape probably when I was 18 at Michael's. Look how cute they are. These are not all from matching sets. Some of them are, but this this one I used in my April spread. And then these two I used in my May spread. And I'm thinking of using this either in a June spread or a September spread. But it's so cute and they also, once again, like the stickers, decorate your page, help you stick to a theme, can make your pages look more cohesive. I love cute flowers and I love little planters and it's so exciting. Washi tape, it's one of my favorite things. I feel like it was really popular like a couple years ago for bullet journalers and then people kind of fell out of love with it, but I still love it, so to each their own. Comment down below if you use washi tape for your, your bullet journal planner. I use it for my favorite, so I'm intrigued to know. Are the handy, dandy, amazing, beautiful, perfect in every single way mid liners. These are the best highlighters in the game. You have your thicker side, you have the thin side. You can come up with such cute designs and doodles and color themes with these. I love the ones that are lighter colors. Like these two. Oh, so cute. Love that. So I 100% would recommend midliners. They're amazing. Also, I don't know if you can hear it, but outside, it is so windy. So, so windy. It snowed a little this morning. It is May. May Ninth. I don't even know if I have something to tell them today. Wait, my bullet journal is right here. It is May 9th. And it snowed. So, it's very windy. It's a weird day. I don't know what's happening. Live, love New England. 10 out of 10 would recommend midliners. Look for a sale on Target, or I think you can get them on the Blick Art Store online, and you can get a discount, I think, if you're a student. I don't know that for sure. Don't quote me on it, but it's very exciting. I love midliners. And they came out with, like, brush ones. I want to get them so bad, but once again, money is of the essence, and I have not, so... Uh, my friend Abby has the brushes. They're so nice. 10 out of 10. Next up, we got Papermate Colorful Pens. They are the Papermate Flare Pens. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, also, excuse my nails. They chip so fast because I decided to bake and cook right after I painted them. Genius have a cute little fine tip, you know. And these are fantastic on a budget when you want your bullet journal to be colorful and cute. These, I think I got them at BJ's, which is, I think, like a Costco. I really don't know what a Costco is exactly because they're not ex where I live in my bubble, but it sounds like that's what it is. And I got them in a big package two years ago and they still are lasting me because you don't use these colors every day or for each month. These were a bargain. And we had a coupon because it was back to school season. Thank you BJ's. Thank you Paper Mate Flare Pens. Can you hear that wind? I don't I don't know if you can, but it's... I have a deal with the tree across the street from me. Like, please do not fall in my room. Like, please. I will respect you. You respect me. I hope it works. 
Next we have the Crayola Super Tips. And if you can see that, it's pretty reflective. These are so nice. Uh, I've worn down like the metal writing on this one, or the silver writing. I use these very often. Once again, to time the color schemes of everything. They're skinny, so they kind of work like midliners. They're cheaper than midliners, and you get a ton. So once again, if you're balling on a budget, these are fantastic for getting a ton of colors. Get them at Michael's with a coupon, even better. I love these, you have get so many colors. They're a nice fine tip, so you can write cute with them. and Or you can use them as highlighters for school. I used to sit next to a girl who did that, and I'm like, you're a genius. Next, I have, we're getting down to the end. This is the second to last item I have. This is a jelly roll pen. It's a white gel pen. It just has a skinny little tip. It's great if you're an artist too, because when you use black ink, lots of times in classes you do a project where you have to draw just in black ink, and if you mess up, you're like, no, I don't want to use white out. You don't have to. You can go in with this pen, and it covers it up, and I use it all the time in my bullet journal, because I constantly mess up numbers, days I spell things wrong, and this just makes it go away. Poof. And last, but not least, are these types of pens. I shall explain. So these are the Pilot Juice pens, and these are a 0.38 millimeter, I don't know, pen. And they're so skinny and small. And this, these ones come in all sorts of different colors. I got these a long time ago when I was 18 again uh, and they're so skinny and small and these ones are cool because they can clip to whatever you're doing so there's a nice freaking like nice fine writing I like the look of skinny writing in my journal it makes things feel very neat because since I'm a lefty I'm constantly like I get so nervous so when it's skinnier it's harder for me to like drag it across but my favorite is the Muji, once again, 0.38. They're so skinny. Look how skinny it's small. Skinny legend. Um, these are amazing. And these also, I think you can get them in all sorts of different colors, but I just have black and you can order just packs of black. And they're great for note taking. They write smooth. They're wonderful. I love them. Can't recommend them enough. So those are all my favorite bullet journal accessories. Those are all my favorite bullet journal accessories. Thank you so much for watching. This was a whirlwind and just like a sudden video I decided to make. So it won't be maybe of the highest quality, we'll see. And you may hate your wind, maybe this will never grow up at all, who knows. But I still like making it today. I hope everyone's doing well. If you're in college, you know, everyone in Zoom University, I hope everyone's finals are going well. I wish you the best of luck. What else? Is that, that's all I got. So, I hope you have fun bullet journaling if that's what you're interested in. If you'd like to see cool stationery, I hope you enjoy. Have a good day. I hope it's not such weird weather. Look at it's here. Like it's sunny right now, which is nice, but the wind. Mm, and it's cold. So, enough about the weather. I'm so from New England. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my Instagram. It's linked below. Subscribe, like, comment, do all those fun things. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!